Last year, we didn't see much activity from Kia in the Indian market. 2022, Kia has its first product, the Karens. Now, the vehicle you see here, Kia doesn't like to call it an MPB. What is it then? Well, stay with us for the next few minutes. We will tell you all about the Karens and we will also find out if this is an MPB or something else. Now, design-wise, the Kia Karens does look like an MPB on steroids. It gets a fairly high bonnet position and also a straight roof line that adds to the cabin space. But what does Kia Karens offer overall? Let's find out by walking to the front. So in the front, you get a very electric vehicle type looks with this solid grill up here just below the bonnet. It extends to become the DRL and these turn into the turn indicators as well. In the lower part, you get the LED, all LED headlamps and these are very very powerful. Now we haven't tested these headlamps in the night yet but even during the day they were bright enough. Now on the lower part is where you get the tiger nose DNA grill of Kia. If you look this car from front you will find a lot of chrome here and there. I think Kia has found the answer to what Indian customers like finally. Now let's walk to the sides and check out what the Karens offer on the side. The alloy wheels, they are all new. The design looks pretty well. They are pretty good and these are 16 inch rims. On the side, you do not get much. It's a plain design. You get blacked out B pillars and C pillars as well. As I explained the fairly straight roof line, we will go inside and check the space. But before that, I want to show you what the Karens offers from the rear and also the boot space. Now walking to the rear of the car, you will notice this wraparound tail lamp that extends quite a bit much to the side. The LED tail lamps, they do get a very good looking design element and both the tail lamps are connected with this reflective strip. Now this design element is becoming quite common with all the Kia cars and we get to see it here as well. Down below, more chrome and a very flat design. I would say this is not the best angle to look at the Kia Karens. However, Kia has designed this car for space. It is 40mm longer, 10mm wider and 33mm higher than the Alcazar. In the end, I would say the Kia Karens does look different but it still gets quite a bit much of MPV-ish design. What do you think about the design of the Kia Karens? Do let us know in the comment section below. Now that we are already in this part of the car, let's just open the boot and check out how much space does it offer. Now Kia claims the boot space has a space of around 216 liters. It's quite usable as you can see. You can put a couple of travel bags around here. And if you want to travel with more luggage and less number of people, you can simply tumble them down to make space for more luggage. Now all that bigger dimensions and the taller roof that translates into more space. We are in the third row seat of the Kia Karens. It's a six seater, but the third row is going to be same in the seven seater and the six seater as well. And as you can see, I am 5'10". My height is 5'10 and after sitting on the last row seat, my knees are touching to the front seat, but you can adjust it as well. You can also adjust this seat for recline, but if you have luggage in the rear, that's not going to be possible. Kia has also provided two USB chargers, two individual USB chargers on each side and that's a very good thumbs up from us customers, young customers who like to keep their phones on charge on the move. Up on the roof, you get ventilations and there are two of them. You can close them and open them, but you can't regulate them. So now let's move to the second row C and find out what the Kia Karens offers. Now, as you can see, we are in the second row seat of the Kia Karens and this is the six seater version and that is why you get captain seats. Now this one, adjustable however this one doesn't adjust because this is the one that tumbles down 
Apart from that, you can see a lot of space around here like this tray that you can open to eat food or place your laptop on the move. This side doesn't get that. It gets a smart AD purifier system that is integrated to the seat itself. You also get little space in the center console and you get two USB chargers here as well. On the doors, you get a lot of space for bottles and other knickknack items. And above you, again, there are roof vents. And that is the reason why the Kia Carins doesn't offer panoramic sunroof even with the top end variant. Kia has moved around all the unimportant stuff like the air conditioner and the air purifier from the spaces that the Alcazar offers and positioned them in a way that the space increases by substantially inside the cabin. Now we are in the front row seat of the Kia Carens and you realize that this car doesn't look like any other car from Kia. It gets an all new face, especially with this 10.25 inch infotainment system flush fitted into the dashboard. Now we will talk about this infotainment system later. It gets a host of new features as well. Now coming to the side, you get a gloss finish on the dashboard, but I'm not so sure how this will hold up against the scratches, especially in the Indian conditions. Now there is a cup holder which retracts to save space and there is a good amount of space inside the glove box as well. Now we will return to the center, we will go down and we will see this toggle switches uh, kind of buttons which are which can be used to open and close the AC vents. The similar kind of toggle switches are used to control the climate control system as well. So you can control the temperature from right here and the fan speed from right here. Now looking at the central console, you get a number of buttons to control the ventilated seat, the airflow to the ventilated seats. You get hill descent control mode right here and the driving modes. So we'll talk about the driving modes as well. In the middle, you get a wireless phone charger and then there is a 12 volt electric socket right here. There's a regular USB charger and one more USB-C type charger. The steering wheel is a flat bottom type which you get to see in a lot other Kia models as well. You get controls for controlling the infotainment system, the instrument cluster as well as the cruise control system. Now depending on the variants, Kia offers different dashboard colors. Now the variant that we are driving gets this deep navy blue theme with beach color as you can see and they do not go well with each other. I'm not so sure how other cars, the other variants do it but I feel this could have been done in a better way. Now you also get paddle shifters right on the steering wheel because we are driving the 7 speed DCT version. We will talk about the transmission and engine later. First, let's check out the instrument cluster. It's an all digital instrument cluster which gets bars on both the sides and a small MID in the middle. It shows a lot of information starting from fuel efficiency to who is calling you. Now this 10.25 inch infotainment system, it's the same size as the Seltos but it comes with a lot of new features. Starting with new connected features which you can use by downloading the Kia Uvo app. You can start the car, check the status and also do a lot of remote control things like change the AC temperature, defrost, heat setting and all of that. So that's an interesting part. Apart from that, Kia has made the infotainment system very very premium feel. For example, you get the voice memo right here so you can record what anything that you want to do on the move. You also get something called nature sounds. Now, this is something that I am seeing in a car of this segment for the first time. So Kia provides a number of lists from which you can choose and listen to calm sounds while moving on the road. The infotainment system plays through the 11 speaker system of Bose which is standard with a top end variant. As the Bose speakers are, the quality and the loudness is pretty good. Now with the new features in the infotainment system, the manual blinds in the second row seat and the overall view of the Kia Karens, I do feel that the Karens does feel premium especially when it comes to the features. What do you feel about the new Kia Karens? Do let us know in the comment section. Now 
now we are driving the petrol variant of the Kia Currents. Kia offers two engine options with the petrol. We are driving the most powerful 1.4 liter turbocharged version that generates a maximum power of 140 PS and peak torque of 242 Nm. It only comes with a 7 speed uh, DCD transmission. That's why you see the battery shifters right here. Now, Kia doesn't offer the 2 liter naturally aspirated engine that Hyundai offers with the Alcazar. However, with the 1.5 liter and the 1.4 liter turbo, I think Kia will capture a wide amount of market. Now, coming to the driving dynamics of the car, I must say that Kia has designed it quite well. It doesn't feel like a big, bulky car. Instead, it feels like a light car. The steering is quite light at slow speeds. And since we are in highway right now, the car is doing about 70. The steering has weighed up very nicely. As you can see, I will just change the lane and there is not much of a body roll as well. So Kia has done a very good job with the driving dynamics of the Karens. Now coming to the engine itself, it's quite revvy. And as you can see, it is the fastest, the quickest engine among all the variants of the Karens. It can hit 100 kmph at around 10 seconds only. I'm not so sure who will do that in an MPV though. However, it can do that. Apart from that, you can also put it in sports mode. The transmission in sports mode, it changes the color of the instrument cluster as well and keeps holding on to the gear ratios for a longer time for a sporty feeling, but that will reduce the fuel efficiency. Talking about the fuel efficiency, we haven't checked that, but it says 9.1 km per liter, but we have been throwing around this car quite a lot. so. This doesn't seem valid for the Karens for the time being. Now with the limited body roll, the comfort level of the Karens, it goes up quite a bit much. You feel very comfortable in the first row seat while sitting in the second row seat. I'm not so sure about how it feels in the last row seat though. Apart from that, Kia has done a good job with the noise insulation. It's a petrol variant, I know, but apart from the road noise, I can't hear much around. So again, a good job done by Kia. Now we are driving the diesel variant, which is powered by a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. It generates a maximum power of 115 PS and peak torque of 250 Nm. It is also available with an automatic transmission. However, we have got the six speed manual version. Now, after driving the 1.4 petrol turbocharged variant, we feel that the diesel one feels much more planted. It feels much more planted on the roads, especially because of the weight. Now, Kia has not revealed the weights of the individual variants, but it does feel heavy and more planted on the road surface. Apart from that, the engine offers a good amount of low end torque, so you don't need to change the gears quite often which is very good inside the city limits where is a, there is a lot of traffic. Now this is the variant that most people may want to buy because of its fuel efficiency. Now after driving the Kia Karens for a limited amount of time I can see that overall quality of the car is quite good. There are some bits which could have been better like the glossy finish on the dashboard. However the overall fit and finish it's premium it looks very classy and I think it will manage to do very well in the segment. Now coming to the end, we feel that the Kia Karens is overall a very good package. It's good for people who want to travel together on longer trips and also good for customers who will choose to be on the rear seats driven by a chauffeur. We'll know everything about the Kia Karens right now apart from the pricing but we feel that Kia will price it lower than the Alcazar but higher than the Ertiga in the market. What's your guess on the price of the Kia Karens? Do let us know in the comment section and also let us know what do you think about this new upcoming car. As always, do not forget to subscribe to the Car Talk channel and do not forget your seat pills when you're driving the car.